How many of you do it just for fun? Just for fun. It's not a business, it's just, just for fun. I just want to have fun. I don't want to compete. I don't want to get into the industry. I just want to have fun, maybe sing in the shower. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> now, if you want to have a career, okay, let's say you want to go to art school. I'm going to tell you how big the industry is. For those, I'm talking to those who are looking to maybe go further with it. We're going to equip you with all of this for free. We're going to build your portfolio. We're going to get the, give you the tools that you need, okay, to survive in this industry and compete. Your resume is very important. So you need to have an art-focused resume. We'll definitely provide you with a letter of recommendation. You want to go to school? Schools, uh, when you enter into college or whatever, they're going to want letters of recommendation. They're going to want some things that you do with your application, right? We'll help build your portfolio, like I said, with those portfolio reviews and everything. Uh, we're going to provide that for free. So that we keep you on track. We're going to give you opportunities to showcase and exhibit your work. Now that's where your work comes in. <laughs> you're going to do what you do best. You're going to focus on your art. And you'll have the backing of our company to provide you with all the producers and uh, production crew that you need for your set. We're going to work with you to pick your lighting, your sound. We're going to work with you. You're the artist. We're going to treat you like a celebrity. You're going to be working behind the scenes to make sure that your set, your presentation, is flawless. I think this gentleman needs a standing ovation. Right? Let's show him some love. And even now, to this day, I'm still consistently trying to keep that mentality and hone that, that whole thing. But now I feel like that work ethic is just ingrained in me. I'm always working. I'm always doing something. I'm always trying to be the best that I can be. I don't have to do anything. I can't. I just couldn't live with myself if I didn't give 100% to anything that I'm invested into. Uh, so, you know, I, that's really it. And, um, you know, dreams are achievable, but the actions behind it is just as imperative as the dream itself. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Um, so, oh, my name is Shari. Okay. Um, so, I guess our society and social media and stuff like that for the kids in the YouTube gigs now, they present this idea that it's, it, it, it kind of like happens overnight kind of thing, mm -hmm. and then once an individual actually gets into it, they see that it, it, it needs some hard work pushing behind it. Yeah. What would your advice be to um, a young person who, are, who is interested in the arts and, you know, they, they stumble across this kind of thing that makes them like, oh, what is this? you know, kind of thing, but what would your advice be to, I guess, motivate them and keep them pushing it? Um, well, if the motivation is, is money, then you're probably doing it for the wrong reason. I think that's, that's the first thing. Um, that, that, will, that will come. That's something that I, I try to hone into what I do. Um, you know, music is, is something I'm genuinely interested in. I, I, it doesn't matter if I made anything from it. I still love doing it. And um, that creative process behind it, that, that is something that, that pushes me. There's a lot of people that try to make it look like they happened overnight. Mm -hmm. But when you talk to them, and fortunately, um, with the platform and the ability to meet people that are doing that stuff, that are like on YouTube and that are doing stuff, you realize that it ain't overnight for them. They've been working at it for years, and they've tried different avenues and different things. And there are some people that just had that one video that went viral, but they didn't know how to keep it. They didn't know how to keep that platform or use it when they had it. And so then they end up doing something else. They end up putting themselves in a, in a different position where they don't know how to handle that fame, so they cope with it in other ways that maybe is not, um, you know, susceptible for the public view. So, but yeah, just keeping that genuine interest in that, that excitement in what you do is something that I think can help the longevity of anything that you do. So, yeah, that was, that's my approach to it.